Today, we are looking at professional access control features and more specifically, we are looking at the NT Passback. So how does NT Passback work? And what does it actually mean? NT Passback is a feature you can have in Access Control that prevent people from tailgating. So if you have an access card and you use it to enter an area, you cannot give this card to someone else to enter the same area in a limited amount of time. I'm gonna show you with this training kit how it actually works and we're gonna talk a little bit more about it. You're gonna have to use your imagination here, but we actually did a setup for NT Passback with this training kit. So this reader would act as a door. So the way it's gonna work, I'm gonna badge my card on this reader. It's gonna open the door contact, so it is on this specific zone. So when I badge, it opens the door, the door is open, it triggers a door contact that is in the frame of the door, and I enter an area. So if I give my card to someone after that, well, he won't be able to enter the area. I take my access card, I go here, I badge, open the door, the door contact open because the door is open, and from there it closes. Now, if I take back my card, I give it to my friend that is following me for an example, and he tries to enter the door, well, he is rejected because there is an empty passback feature in this access control. So the door contact doesn't open because the door stay closed. In many applications, this can be used. One common is any kind of underground parking, for example. So you come with your car, you badge, you enter, and the way it works is that the card functions with request. So the request you receive is an entry point. I badge my card, I enter, an area. Now, if I give my card and give another entry to someone, it does enter, enter. That's why it's rejected. It's supposed to be enter, exit, enter, exit. So it works this way, so you can manage the environment. And that's what we're talking about when we're mentioning professional access control. There are many more things you can do with the NT Passback because you have something monitoring like all, all the premise. So you have someone in the management software of your access control that gives these different roles and rules to the access card of, it can be even employees. So in this case, for example, you can schedule the NT Passback on an access card, meaning that Someone that has a card, for example, can have a two minutes rule on his card. So for two minutes, well, I can use my card, badge in the door, come back, and then in two minutes it will reset and then I can give my card. You can do this for 20 minutes also. It will work as well. Not only that, but you have set levels of anti-passback you can give to the access cards. So a hard access empty pass back would be what we just shown so you cannot pass your card to someone else right after using it but you can also have a low level meaning that if i bad and i enter i can give my pass to someone else and he's able to enter the premise but this will trigger an event inside the management software so the person that is monitoring the area would see that i gave my card to someone else another nice feature that you can manage inside the software is if you have a professional access control, and I mentioned before you have a door contact inside your door frame, well, you can enable your card to not re uh, register the entry when you badge it. So for example, I go to this door, imagination again, it's a big beautiful door, I badge it, but the door contact doesn't open, so as you see this zone doesn't trigger, well, it doesn't register as an empty passback because I did not go through the door. So it only register if I badge my card and then the door contact open. So if I force my way through the door and this way it will be registered inside the management software and people will know that yes I entered and from then well I cannot give my card to someone else. 
So this was the NT pass bag that you can find in many, many access control, but now we're covering more professional access control. If you like this video, well, please subscribe, hit the bell button. There are many more on the way. We're trying to educate people in the security world to encourage people to keep on installing different products. So if you're a video guy and you want to get into access control, well, it's a good time to subscribe to our channel. Many more videos about access control to come. All right, guys, see you on the next one.